Welcome to the second part of Thumb Independence. You're watching Minister of Twang. I'm Matthias Mileski. And today I'd like to show you a couple of exercises that I will show you how to superimpose simple melody over uh, ragtime comping done with thumb. We'll use a major scale in second position. So I'll bar my index finger on second fret, second, third and fourth string to get my uh, A major scale, which will sound like that. I'll play notes on starting on third string, second fret, fourth fret, then on second string, second fret, third and fifth, first string, second, fourth and fifth. The whole time I'll hold my index finger on 2nd fret just to keep notes ringing because what we hold in here uh, actually is a major chord that we will use as our comping framework. Uh, let's have a look at the first exercise which is going to be playing our alternating ragtime comping. And for each bar we play one note of major scale. What is important uh, in this exercise I'll uh, use my thumb to play just single notes. In previous um, video uh, I suggested that we use two middle strings as a chord for comping. But in this exercise, we'll use third string uh, as a melody string. So we want to have it uh, independent from the comping, uh, comping thumb, and we'll use index finger to plug those notes. The first exercise is going to sound like that. I play just first five notes, one note per bar. Uh, they are all on downbeats on one of each bar. So we'll pluck each note with thumb on fifth string. Uh, the second exercise uh, will be roughly the same thing, but we'll speed up and play two notes per bar. And the idea is just to keep the comping going and changing the melody on top. Uh, it is uh, very important to start really, really slowly with both exercises. Another exercise will play major scale on every beat uh, of the bar. And again, it's important to start slow and build up to tempo. So, so far, uh, every melodic run that we've played uh, had its uh, melody notes on downbeats of the bar. Now, let's uh, try to syncopate it a little bit 
and uh, we'll have a little bit different rhythm. The basic melody idea is going to be the same. First five notes of A major scale. I delayed the note that would be on beat three to end of three. So it gives that short of, so sort of uh, a ragtime feel to it. Let's have a look at our uh, picking hand action, what's going on in there. So first note is again, fifth string and third string at the same time. But uh, our second note in the bar will be after the sixth string in the comping, so we'll have and right after the melody note we'll have fourth string, so it's Now let's try to push all the notes, uh, one eighth note um, ahead of the beat, which will give the whole uh, syncopation idea a little bit more emphasis and it's gonna sound a little bit weird but this is a good uh, exercise to have our rhythm and have the uh, thumb independence going. Uh, at the same time it's something that is quite commonly used in many of the melodies so we have quite useful tool for building uh, your own arrangements or just learning things by ear by listening to what's there. Uh, so right now all the notes gonna be uh, gonna be syncopated, gonna be pushed from their usual places. So these were a uh, couple of exercises with first five notes of the major scale and uh, we'll try to make something a little bit more interesting. We'll use uh, very similar rhythm patterns but we'll change the melody, me melodic pattern um, and we'll play major scale in thirds. So there's gonna be a melodic run like that. So it's going to be first and the third note, second and fourth, third and fifth, fourth and sixth, back to five. So it's second fret on third string, then second fret on second string, fourth fret uh, on third string and third fret on second string then 2nd fret on 2nd string, 5th fret on 2nd string, 3rd fret on 2nd string, 2nd fret on 1st string and back to 5th fret on 2nd string. And again we'll play all of those on downbeats of the 1st bar. Now we'll play two notes per bar. 
Now we'll syncopate the second note in a bar. Now we'll syncopate all of the notes. Okay, just bear in mind that all those exercises should be practiced slowly. Uh, there is uh, not much to it, it's just this little major scale and the comping in single position and different rhythms. In third part we'll explore some more ideas and uh, also we'll have a look at the chord inversions uh, to allow us to broaden uh, the uh, melodic ideas a little bit outside of the major scale in this position and also we'll have a look uh, what other uh, ways of alternating bass and chord uh, we can use to keep the chord but at the same time to free up our hand to do a little bit more interesting things. So I hope you liked the video. Um, if you enjoyed the content so far uh, please uh, uh, like and comment leave your questions in the comment section and uh, if uh, you'd like to have uh, this content popping up maybe a little bit more often consider buying me a coffee there is a link in the description so far this is uh, uh, one of the things that make this channel a bit easier uh, to uh, keep going as there is uh, some time involved in production and editing so I try uh, to do everything just to keep those videos popping on a regular ba basis so uh, hope gonna see you uh, next time and uh, keep on twanging